All right, back again for another this week on here 911. This one's going to be number seven. What we're going to see on Animal Rescue or Tuesday, Animal Rescue Postmortem Volume Two, Number Seven, is animal control takes a completely unnecessary risk by by rescuing or extricating dogs from a building that the floor is collapsing in. And, and so they put themselves into a position there where they, they shouldn't be put the, putting themselves into a position. And I'll let you watch that video so you can find out more about what I think about it. But it just goes once again to address the issue that most animal welfare people don't have the right training and experience to go out into the field and do animal rescues in all these various situations that they find animals in and that's a really good one because the, the floor is collapsing it has been that way for some time there's nothing to stop it from continuing and and so i, I say that they have no idea that the danger they're in in that video if they had the right training they'd come up with a better plan and a better way of doing that rescue because they'd understand the actual hazards of going into a building where the floors collapsed. All right, and as you know, Humane Emergency Animal Rescue is about setting the standard and getting people in animal welfare trained properly. Uh, we see, we're gonna see so many times in this Animal Rescue Postmortem series where people are doing stuff unsafely and they, ne they need to, <laughs> They need to get it together and do things in the proper manner and, and stop doing this nonsense of, 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 of putting themselves in an unnecessary risk situation or taking unnecessary risk. Okay, enough ranting about that. You'll hear plenty, there's plenty more of that to go around. And then on uh, Animal Rescue, a photographic history, we got, oh, I forgot to write down what the date is, but it, it's, I think, in the 50s. I'm not sure. Forget about that. You'll figure it out when you go over there and check out the video. It is a horse down in a cistern. Uh, that's volume one, number 11, if you're looking for it. And uh, it's pretty cool because you can see how they did things back in that period of time to get that horse out of that cistern. And just like all horses, they find themselves in all kinds of crazy and interesting situations there. Okay, I'm trying to keep these things a lot shorter, and then what I'll do is I'll make videos. If I'm going to uh, talk about stuff like I did in the previous, uh, this week on here, I'll actually make a separate video um, that doesn't have to do with this week on here. Oh! And then the blog, if you're watching this, yeah, I almost forgot about this. If you're watching this, you've got to go check out the blog for um, this week's uh, Read All About It. Because I write a story in there and I tell about uh, an incident that I responded to down in Hialeah when I was working for the Humane Society as a humane officer there. And uh, there was a lady who had committed suicide in the apartment and that left quite a number of animals behind there. And so you'll, you're gonna wanna read that story because the, the, real, the title of it is The Nazi, the, the Gestapo Cats, and the Mouse Concentration Camp. And if you, you read that story, you'll see why I came to that conclusion after going on that, that run because what a crazy run that was, that's all I can say. All right, go over to our YouTube to check it out over there. You know what to do. And then always visit our website, okay? We really do appreciate that, all the love and support that you send us. That's it. See you in the next one.